How to fix Crunchyroll API 403 issues on the app. I'm gonna guide you through the process on how to solve it. Let's get started. First of all, on your phone, launch the Crunchyroll app. You can log into your account. You need to make sure that you have a stable internet connection. Sometimes a weak connection can cause errors, including the error of 403. Next method is you can log out of the app and try to re-log into your account. For that, at the bottom right corner, head over to your account, scroll down to the bottom and select this log out option. You can re-log into your account again. This will refresh your session and it will clear up any authentication issues that might be causing the 403 error. Next method is if you are using the Android app, you can go to your phone settings or you can simply tap and hold on this Crunchyroll app icon. Now tap on this information icon over here. Scroll down to the bottom, select the storage option. Now at the bottom right corner, you can see the clear cache option, tap on it. If you want to completely reset the data of Crunchyroll, you can even clear data over here. Tap on delete. After doing this, you will have to re-log into your account again. You can try to relaunch the app and see if it fixes your issues. Next method is you can try to uninstall and reinstall the app. In that way, you will have the latest version of the Crunchyroll app on your phone. After trying out these methods, if it still doesn't solve your problem, you'll need to contact the Crunchyroll support. Since 403 error is related with the server connection, they will come up with a response if it is an issue with your account or their servers. So that's it. That's how you can easily fix Crunchyroll API 403 error. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips. Thank you for watching.